Suppose we have the cylindrical point, r equals 2, theta equals 5 pi thirds, z equals minus 2. Find the rectangular and spherical coordinates. First, rectangular. So we want x, y, and z. We get z for free, that's minus 2. So I just need x and y. To get x and y, we use our usual formulas from polar coordinates in the xy plane. So x will be r cosine theta, y will be r sine theta. So all I need to do is figure out cosine and sine for 5 pi thirds. Okay, first, 5 pi thirds is going to be in the fourth quadrant. It's only pi thirds away from 2 pi, which is 6 pi thirds. So we're down here. Down there, the x value is positive, so cosine is positive. The y value is negative, so sine is negative. Then I have to figure out what numbers go with pi thirds. So we know pi thirds, pi six, pick up one half and square root of three over two for their sine and cosine. So what goes with what? Well, pi thirds is the bigger angle in the first quadrant, so it'll have a shorter cosine, okay? Pi six goes out further. Then we note, okay, for the shorter cosine, well, what's the smaller number of a half or square root of three over two? Square root of three over two is 0.8 something, so we want a half. So cosine of pi thirds is gonna be a half, sine is gonna be square root of three over two. So to get five pi thirds sine and cosine, I'm gonna want those numbers with the signs put in for the fourth quadrant. So I'll get a half and minus square root of three over two. Putting into our equations with r equals two, I'll get a one for x minus square root of three for y. Z is equal to minus two by assumption. Here, we have our rectangular coordinates. For spherical coordinates, we're looking for rho, theta, and phi. We're given theta for free, that's five pi thirds. Rho is gonna be the distance from the origin to our point. In cylindrical, that's gonna be rho squared equals r squared plus z squared, so it's gonna be equal to four plus four. Take the square root, that's gonna be square root of eight, or two square roots of two. So that's our row, two square roots of two. All I need now is phi. What's the geometry for phi? So we're gonna take the z-axis, take our point, that's gonna form a plane. If I start at the positive z-axis and come down to our point along the plane, we're gonna sweep out an angle, that's gonna be phi. Okay, phi is gonna be between zero and pi, we get pi if we go all the way down to the negative z-axis. The triangle for this, so I'll have a right triangle, it's gonna look like this. So here, the hypotenuse is gonna be rho, so it's going from the origin to our point. And then we note, if this angle is phi, then the adjacent is gonna be rho cosine phi. That's also our z in rectangular. So we're gonna be able to get cosine phi in terms of z and rho. What do we get? Cosine phi is minus two over two square root of two. I'm gonna multiply by square root of two over itself to clean things up. We're gonna wind up with minus square root of two over two. So I want the angle between zero and pi that has as its cosine minus square root of two over two. We know it's a multiple of pi fourths. Okay, if it has a negative cosine, it's gonna be in quadrant two. So that means I'm looking at three pi fourths.